Hi fellow makeup fans, please excuse the kind of messy hair thing, no makeup look going on. Um, I first want to say I haven't been making videos just for a couple of weeks, um, probably around a couple of weeks, uh, because I've been quite ill. Um, we had a death in the family quite recently that was quite a, a shock. Well, I say it was a shock, but we kind of knew it was coming, but to me I was just kind of in a state of denial about the whole thing. So, um, when it actually happened, it hit me in a major way. So, I've been quite ill and I've had um, very high blood pressure and a blood vessel in my eye burst, possibly due to the stress and things like that. But And then all of my eye on this side just filled up with blood. It was not pretty. <laughs> so, I didn't really want to make videos when I had that going on. Um, so... I haven't been making videos so I'm really sorry about that because I do love making videos but I also have not been doing haul videos for a little while and I've been gathering up some stuff I kind of thought I don't actually go out on like a shopping spree so I don't go out and just go and get a bunch of stuff all in one go <laughs> I tend to do shopping in little bits so if I go somewhere I pick up the odd thing that I see and then um, that's it you know it's not really worth hauling that kind of thing um, so I've kind of just got a collective haul. Um, some things I got off my friend because she was kind of tired and out and getting rid of stuff. And then just some bits and pieces from all over the place. So I'm going to share them with you now. Um, some of them have just fallen all over the floor. Um, but yeah, okay. I don't really know where to start. I guess we'll start with a few things that Lisa gave me. Um, she gave me this. This is the Muppets, um, Muppets OPI. Yeah, it says it actually says the Muppets Muppets, um, and this is four of the mini OPI colours, and it's got in Waka Waka, Excusez Moi, um, oh my God, without my glasses I can't see that. <laughs> uh, designer de Better and Warm and Fuzzy, and they're really lovely. These little bottles are just so cute. Um, That's what they look like. I have to look to see if you can see me because uh, this camera is terrible. Um, yeah, so I got those. Um, one of them's got quite big glitter chunks, the other two other glitter ones, and then a red one. I don't know if I'm going to keep them all, um, but I really like them. She also gave me this that she wasn't using, she's only swatched, which is the Urban Decay Midnight Emergency Kit. Um, this has got four shadows in it. I'm just going to drop those other two things out. So that's the shadows there. Um, Midnight Cowboy, again I'm going to need to see, uh, Midnight Rodeo, Midnight 15 and ACDC, I think they're really lovely colours, they're quite sparkly, got like a purple and then sort of um, champagne colours and a uh, light brown. And in that kit came a brush, which as you can see has never been used and I love Urban Decay brushes, that's a nice little mini one, and then this lip gloss. Which is a plumping one, uh, also not used. So I got those, okay. And then also, she gave me this lunch tin, which I absolutely love. This is a Goonies lunch tin. It's got that on one side and then that on the other. And then on the sides, it's got this picture here, which is of Data. And then I love this picture of Chunk. He's doing the truffle shuffle. So she gave me this lunch tin. I love the Goonies and I love tins, so there you go. And then inside that um, was just some Barbie stationery that she didn't want and some little stampers and some little Hello Kitty type badge earrings. So yeah, they're really cute. So I actually have the tin. Oh, I, can't get that on there. I keep the tin in my bedroom. Um, but I was really pleased with those few things. Oh. I'm very appreciative. Sorry about that. I'm a bit of a neat freak. Um, so we'll go on to talking about some other things. It's a mismatch, so I'm just kind of going to get bits from here, there and everywhere. So it's, you know, it's not going to make much sense. I'm going to try and keep things grouped as much as I can. Um, I got these wedge boots and they're a snake skin pattern. I love these. They're actually from ASOS and they're called the Ablaze Wedge. They're like a super duper wedge. 
but I absolutely love them. They, I don't normally like snake skin, but I really quite like these. And they're like a vinyl, which is really good for like when you, sometimes you don't want to wear certain shoes because if you go out, the rain can ruin them. Where with these being quite vinyl, they're going to be great for all weathers. And I love that the um, boot laces are kind of a coordinating colour to the boot rather than just be something just like a black. I think it's quite nice that they kind of coordinate. So I got those. Um, they were in the ASOS sale for 36 and then some other shoes which me, some of you may like, some of you may not, but I absolutely love them. And these. These are from misguided.co.uk. I got these and I got a 20% off voucher and I think they're by a firm called Bebo. Just got a red shiny heel there and of course the stars and stripes. And these are a 6.5 inch heel. Huge. <laughs> but I love them, they're really cool. Um, and I can't remember after the discount, I think they worked out to be about 34 35 with the delivery, which was really good. Um, this is a bit of a random sort of item, so I'll mention this. I've got two of these and I've left the sticker on. It's from two, which is from Sainsbury's. Um, it hasn't got the original price on, but I picked these up for 65 pence in the sale. And they're white with just like a floral indentation on them, which is really nice. And I'm just using them to store brushes in. Now normally I'd have more brushes than this, but I've actually just cleaned all my brushes. These are the only two ones that I hadn't used in that pot. So yeah, I've got two of those um, just to keep my brushes in. So that's them. Um, there's not a lot of makeup items as such um, that I can think of. Um, I've got three here that I can definitely think of. I did get um, the MAC brush cleanser. Um, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Because I did pick up two blushes from the Trej Trej Chic collection. But I don't know. Oh, well, I guess I could show them here. Because it's not really worth showing them separately. I got a Full of Joy which is a lavender colour and it's a frost, it's beautiful. This actually looks totally amazing. That is a true colour, I think, <laughs> that you're seeing. Um, I got this and this looks so amazing over, see, I hope this is the right one I picked up. It looks amazing over my dainty doll. So my dainty doll and then I put this on as, because this is a frost, it goes on as a highlight and they look so amazing together. So I really pleased because I quite like lavender blushes. I think they're quite different. Um, so that's really pretty. I got that one. And then the other one that I got is Immortal Flower, which is the peachy coloured one. Oh, that's what that looks like. Yeah, that's a true colour there. That's good. Um, it's really pretty. Um, it is quite sheer. You're not going to see that swatch on there, I doubt. <laughs> But it is very buildable and what I found the best way to use this is because it is very sheer is to rub your fingers in it pat it onto your cheek and then take a blush brush and work it in because you get much better color because when you take a brush across it you don't get a great deal and then you're there for ages you know getting more and more and trying to build the color if that's what you want so the best thing you do is if you get it on your finger you get a lot of product you pat it on there and then you work it in and I find that that works fantastically for me so that was it um, I think that's it from Mac, um, other than I got a tender tone. <laughs> um, Amelia from Amelia Makeup Back, she's a really good friend of mine, and she was telling me, you've got to get one, you're gonna love these, and I was like, oh, I don't know, they're just like a, a lip balm. Um, but I decided, yeah, I'm gonna go and have a look, and I wanted to get this one, and this is the last one that they had of this one. This is the hot and saucy one, which is the bright red which is a beautiful red. But these are very sheer. I only used it once because I was quite nervous of using it the first time. Um, but beautiful. It's just very light red. You know, these are pretty, pretty sheer, but they do smell very nice. Um, but the texture, the smell, the taste, very, very, very similar to the Born Lippy little um, similar pots, lip balm pots. These are from Oh, the smell of this. This is the Satsuma one, and it's got a little bit of shimmer in there, and this is from the Body Shop, and I absolutely love this. I just can't stop applying it. It tastes fantastic. It looks great on, and it's a really good lip conditioner, but those two definitely remind me of each other. I think you get a bit more product in the um, Body Shop one, I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, so if you missed out on the Tender Tones, i definitely check those out, and they come in all sorts of flavours. I think they had... Um, a black currant one, a pink grapefruit, raspberry, strawberry, so it's worth having a look. Um, but I'm really glad that I got this. Like I say, I've only used it once, but I really did like it. So yeah, that was it for Mac, I think. Yes. <laughs> 
Now, I don't think I've had any lipsticks for a while. I'm waiting for the Real Sexy collection to come out because there's one from that collection that I want. Um, I picked up a couple of things from Sleek. Now, I've never had, actually had anything from Sleek before. Um, and I just decided to give it a try. I saw the Blush by 3 palettes and I was really quite intrigued by them. Um, so I picked up one of those. And I picked the, the one in Lace, which is this one. And I really like these colours. I know they look really scary, but then can you see this one? They're not so bad when you actually get them on your face. Um, the middle one is so pretty. Let me have a look. I don't even know if you'll get that, but it's a peach, but it's got a lovely sort of glow to it. I'm going to try and get a better camera when I'm better off, guys. This is just really bad. Um, but it's so beautiful. It's a shame that you can't really see that too well. Um, and then the last colour is just gorgeous. So they are beautiful, beautiful colours. I like bright colours for the summer. So I picked those up. And I also got an um, a couple of the individual blushes as well. Um, because I was just so impressed with the pigmentation of that so I didn't actually get them all at once I got that and then I went back and I got the single ones so I picked up Life's a Peach which I know looks similar to those ones but it's not it's got a slightly different tone to it it's definitely got more of a pinker tone to it than that one the other one in the, that palette is definitely more of an orange colour um, I don't know if you can see the difference yeah you can this one here is Life's a Peach and it's definitely a lot softer. Um, so I got that and then I picked up this one which is Coral which does it, it doesn't do it justice the way it looks here um, but when you get it on it is just the most beautiful dark coral shade so I really really like that one. And then the other one I got was Pomegranate because this is stunning. I love this colour. I don't think you'll get that either, but that is really, it's just a lovely sort of pink, but it's a deep pink. I think it's really, really nice. Um, and I'm thinking about getting another one of the blush palettes. Um, i trying to think what the name of it is. It's, um, I think, oh, it's actually, it's the one that um, Nikki got from Dunsey D1. It's Pink Sprint. That's the one that I ordered because I really like the darker colours. I want to try and experiment a bit more with blush because um, I really enjoy wearing it. So that was it for blushes. And also from Sleek, I picked up one of their Oh La La Liners in Melba, which is just a beautiful peach colour. Um, I don't know if you'll see the swatch there. That's it there, it's just a lovely peach. I didn't have a lip liner to go with any of the peaches that I've got because I've got Costa Chic, Vegas Vault, all those beautiful peach shades that I've got and coral shades from MAC. Um, didn't have a liner, so this is beautiful and it's really creamy. And the beauty about these is you can use them anywhere. So you can use them on your lips, on your face, on your eyes. They really are a multitasking liner and they're really soft, so I got one of those. Um, I think that's it for uh, makeup sort of things. I got one nail thing, you'll be quite intrigued <laughs> just by the sight of that. Um, I got these little caviar beads, I hope you can see, I'm going to have to lean you forward. There you go. So I found a website, now there is a girl um, who did a demonstration on her channel and she found a website but her supplier was £1.70 for 20 grams. I actually got 40 grams for £1.90 so if anybody wants the information I will link that on the bottom bar um, just so you can have a look at that and maybe check it out. I got pink, white and black to mix together for this and I actually got another mix which is the denim mix which is blues and whites mixed together and that's somewhere over there. Anyway I got these because I love the look of the Seattle nail caviar trend but I think it's really expensive. Um, you don't get a lot because you literally get one nail polish bottle full of the beads which is not going to last you long. So I got these and I've actually tried it and it works. It looked really really good. So um, I will do a video showing you how to do it. Um, the only thing is it's not long lasting so it's not something you could put on and then go about your everyday business working, doing your dishes, driving a car, whatever because they do tend to come off quite easily even though you seal them on. So I think this is the kind of thing that you would do for a night out um, but I think they look really pretty and that was quite a cheap way to be able to have a look at the trend and see what I thought of it. Um, so yeah, caviar beads. Um, last two beauty things. No. I got a nail, uh, a makeup bag, and I don't really need one, but this was in the sale at 
Claire's for £5. It's got a lovely sort of Hello Kitty there to fasten it. And it zips all the way around. And then it's got a lovely print inside, all in black and gold. And it's Hello Kitty's. And the print on the outside is all just like little bows embossed in there. And it's got Kitty in gold. So that's really, really pretty. And then oh, the last two beauty things are oils. These are the new oils from the Body Shop. I got an email about them and said they were £9 and they would do them for 6 75 if you ordered them online before they were released in the shop. Um, but there's delivery and stuff and I was kind of like, oh, I don't really want to do that. I want to test them in the shops anyway. I want to go and have a look. So I went into my shop last week on Friday and I asked about them and she said, oh, they're not out yet, but we do have them. They're upstairs. And she brought them down and let me have a smell of them. And they smell amazing. I got Satsuma because I'm obsessed with Satsuma at the minute. I've got Satsuma soap. I'm using the Satsuma shower gel as um, bath bubbles because you can do that with the Body Shop Satsuma shower gel. Beautiful bubble bath. Um, so I'm using that. Satsuma body butter. <laughs> Satsuma through lips. I'm obsessed with orange and peach smells at the minute. But I got the, the oil and you can use this on your face, body and hair. Um, your face and body when wet and your hair if it's dry. So I love oils. I like oils on my hair anyway, but I think this will smell amazing in the summer. There's that summer in your hair and it'll just be really nice. So I picked these up and they were nine pounds in the shop. They weren't 6 75 However, when she rang them through the till, it was buy one, get one half price. So I got the two for 13 pounds 50. Then I had a five pound on my card because I'd used it four times. She took that off and she took the 10% off. So it was just crazy. I think um, I got these for five, uh, was it five pence something I can't remember um yeah but you know really really good price so I got cocoa butter as well this cocoa butter one just smells so amazing oh lovely so if you like the smells of the body shop body butters or maybe you just don't like the texture of them but love the smells it might be worth taking a look at these oils there's also all sorts of other smells um I think they've got the moringa one um strawberry pink grapefruit, loads of them, all different smells. So go and check those out there. I know it's a small bottle, but you don't need a lot of this stuff and it feels amazing on the skin. So I picked those up. And the next things are jewelry um, and accessories, all from sales and things like that. Um, a couple of things that aren't here, but I don't know where they are right now. <laughs> um, I picked up some brooches. Um, this one was a pound. Sorry, I have to keep leaning. I can't see myself in there. Uh, this is a pound from Outfit. I really like that. It's all kind of a fairy tale mirror. And this was one fifty at Primark. That's just a little owl. It's very cute. I wear a lot of um, jackets and things. And I like to have a, a brooch in the lapel sometimes. Well, all the time, really. If I'm wearing a denim jacket, I've always got brooches on the bad, on the pockets and things. Just brightens up the jacket. And it just you can match it to what you're wearing. So I picked those up. Um, in... International, it's buy one get one half price on bracelets. So these were one ninety nine each, and I got two, so they were three pound for the both. So they're just the religious tile ones. They're just plastic, but the pictures are actually sealed on rather than being stickers, as some of them are. So I got one white, one black. I got a purple one for my daughter, and then I got this, which is gorgeous. It's all little skulls, and it's lovely bright colour. This is actually really heavy. This one, I really like it. So I got those. Um, we went to a market on Saturday and I picked up a few bits and pieces. Um, I got these two bracelets, which are all just different types of beads, but they're like a mat. They feel really nice. They quite feel rubbery, but they're not. Um, yeah, so I got those two. And I got a tin, which you probably aren't interested in seeing, but it's a, it's the King George the sixth Queen Elizabeth Coronation 1957 tin and it is damaged but I just really liked it I like the shape um I just thought it was quite nice I like it that it looks a bit worn so I got those those three items for five pounds it was supposed to be six by us if you take five and she did so that was good I got this bracelet from Dorothy Perkins in the sale for three pounds it's just cream beads and then it says love I got a ring in outfit um, I love this for two reasons. One is I'm a mega, mega Pretty Little Liars fan. I love it. Um, and also because my boyfriend is Alec, this is a ring that says A. And I actually wear this on my little finger. But um, I love it. I love it because those two reasons, because A is everywhere. If you're a Pretty Little Liars fan, you'll know what that means. Um, but yeah, also for Alec. 
I got this necklace in outfit and this was two pounds something I can't remember the exact price it's just very short and it kind of lies around there um, but it's just a chain and then it's got two crosses in a link in each other one gold one silver which is really nice I got, that. I got a bracelet now this was 6.25 and I would never normally have paid that but I really liked it um, it's from Topshop and it was originally 12.50 and it's just kind of a a woven bracelet and you just put it on and then pull the toggles I liked it I like the jingly jangly things plus it's got a cross on and it's got a skull um, I just thought it was quite nice a couple of little religious type things on there even though I'm not that religious but it's got like the coins and stuff it's really really nice so, yeah I got that. This one was only two pounds, but this one's lovely. Again, this has got coins on, and then it's got a crest with a cross on, and this is just a leather sort of bracelet. Leather look. It's not real, obviously. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really, really lovely. One of the coins has got the pop on, I think. Um, from the market also, this was four pounds, and it's hematite. Um, it fastens with a screw fastening, and it's not that long. Um, but it's just this lovely cross and I really love the shape of it something a bit different I love crosses so I got that and then that's the last thing for kind of all that sort of stuff the rest of the stuff is clothes um, which a lot of them have fallen down here I'll start with something small which is a scarf from New Look and it was 2 dollars um, it's quite long um, it's not very wide. I got it because I, I can wear it in my hair because I really like the colour but I can also wear it around my neck. And also it looks really pretty and then when you get close up you don't really notice till you get close up that the pattern is actually skulls and it's got tiny little delicate crosses on. And I really like that because I've been wanting a scarf for crosses on and I can't find one anywhere. Um, but I quite like that this was very sort of a delicate kind of print it's not too in your face however I'd really love a black one with big like creamy colored crosses on but you know I'm sure they'll bring those out because crosses are everywhere at the moment but I like that um also from new look sorry I'm gonna have to get all this stuff up off the floor and then I can show you it now one thing here I'm not sure if I've already shown you it so you'll have to bear with me and if I have, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just don't honestly remember. Life has been a bit of a blur, and it's just, you know, Alec finishes work in a couple of weeks, so, you know, he's got to look for a job, so, and then stress. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to kind of show you things together, but it's going to be a bit difficult because it's all kind of just a big mess. Ah! I think I found it. Right, yes. This is the other item that I got from New Look at the same time as that. So I got these two items. This was $6.99 or $7.99. I can't remember how much. But it was really cheap, I thought, for what it is. Um, and it's this t-shirt from New Look. I love leopards. I love big cats. It's got this leopard print on the front. I love the colour of the t-shirt. This dark grey. I'm not a fan of grey mall as a rule. Um, but I love the dark grey. And it just looks amazing on so i got that so that was it from new look and i can find the other top that goes with that one i think i may have shown you these these are from george at asda they're just trousers black trousers with a white spot on them and they were five pounds and i really like those i think they're quite smart for work um so i got those ha right River Island had a huge sale so I picked up a couple of things. I got two things online. i had been looking at these tops forever but they were £16 each and I was like I can't afford to buy them both. I just can't and I don't really, I don't think that they even justify that price. So I was kind of, I'll wait until they go in the sale. But then they did go in the sale and I managed to get them both and I was like wow. And I got them both for less than it would have cost me for one of them. They literally went down to £6 each. So I got this grey one. And this one says, boys love me, which I really like, it's so cute. It's got a bit of a v-neck going on and it's quite slouchy, this one. I think I got them in a size 16. Yeah, I did, but they still have that little bit of sort of a loose fit, which is really nice. I was gonna get an 18, but they didn't have any, so I had to get a 16, because um, in the summer I like a nice loose um, top. And then the other one, 
it says I love boys which I think is just really cute these will look really great with a pair of shorts um, I'm trying to lose weight at the moment and I've got some jeans that are literally that pink so they will look this will look fantastic with those skinny bright pink jeans so but I really love them they look really good on and they're just really nice for the summer um, the other thing that I got in the River Island sale was the bargain of the week. You know me, I love my bargains. Most of what you see here, um, or what you will see from me, is charity shop finds, sale bargains, things like that, because I like a good bargain. Um, so I tend to be watchful of the sales and things. But the next thing, it's going to be difficult for me to show you it, um, but it's this cardigan. So it's an oatmeal colour. And I think it's quite a nice knit. Hopefully you can see the pattern there. It's really, really long. It's down to my knees and it's got these big pockets on the sides there. They're actually on the sides, not the front. It's quite unusual. Um, but this was £38 at River Island and then it was in the sale for 15 Now it had some loops on the arm where obviously somebody had caught it on coat hangers or something and it had made huge loops and there was about three or four of them. And um, I tried it on and the girl on the checkout, on the changing room said, oh, any good for you? I says, well, I says, I really like it, but I says, the, the sleeve is quite damaged. And she says, oh, well, she says, I'll do it for 7 50 um, but you wouldn't be able to bring it back. But I knew my mum would be able to fix it. So I was like, okay, that's cool. 7 50 for a 38 pound cardigan. It's so heavy. It's unbelievable. And I was like, oh yeah, cool. So I got it, took it home. I went, mum, I got this cardigan. It's an amazing bargain. Um, can you do anything with that? 20 seconds flat, fixed. Wow. <laughs> I was like, ooh, yay. So she's kind of just pulled them through. And if you can see, that's on the inside. And she's pulled it through and then just tied it. So those little, those huge loops have now been fixed. They're actually on the inside now. Um, so yeah, 7 50 for that cardigan. It's amazing. I love it. I'm just dropping things. On. Um, okay, next thing, I got a pair of shorts. For five pounds. Now these were a total find. Um, I looked at them basically, and they were twelve pounds. And I was like, right, okay. Hmm. You know, I'm trying to be good. I don't think they're really worth that. But these peach coloured shorts. You know, I love my colour peach. And they've got like a little bit of a tear detail there. And then around the bottom, they've just got this lovely sort of flower embroidery detail. They're really, really nice. I love them. And the denim. But I didn't think they were worth £12, so I was looking through and I thought, well, I'll try a pair on. And I got two sizes. So I got this one and a bigger one, tried them on, um, and then looked. And these actually had the wrong price tag on them. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I got them. So I got them for five instead of 12. So that's a bonus. Somebody obviously put the wrong price ticket on that one, but I'm not going to complain about that because that was good for me. Um, right. The next two things are from Select. These were £12 each, which I think is a massive bargain for what they are. I'm going to only hold up one of them um, because they're both the same thing, they're just in two different colours. So these were £12 and they're just basically a vest dress. That's what it looks like. And it, they go all the way to the floor. They are so long, but I absolutely love the peach colour of this one. It's gorgeous, lovely deep peach. And I thought that would look really nice. I want to style these up with like a denim waistcoat and some wedges and stuff and they look really pretty um, but I also got it in black so I'm not going to really f unfold that and hold that up for you um, but they're great they're just really nice for the summer and they'll also be really nice for work because I'm going to be going out and visiting clients and things so it'd be really nice to just kind of put those on and look smart but also be a bit fashionable as well and uh, the next two things are from TK Maxx I went in feeling a bit depressed so I thought yeah I'm gonna go and have a little look I got this top this was 9 99 and it's like a coral color it had it down as red but to me that is coral I've tried it next to red things and it just doesn't look like red so I got that and it's a bit shorter at the front than the back and it's quite nice and baggy we had it down as a large but it's actually got M inside so that's a bit of a mistake but at the back it's got this like open detail so yeah it's got like a strap across there and it's just open and then it's kind of pleated which looks really nice and it's nice and lightweight 
I like that because I thought that would look great over the black vest dress just that over the top as well just you know to kind of change it up a bit um, the other thing that I got from TK Maxx which was just I can't I could not believe it, it was in the sale seven pound for this cardigan I'm obsessed with knitwear at the moment I'm sure you can already tell but this is, is so heavy it's got the double back sleeve and it's got like a bit of a detail on the front and sleeve and sleeves and pockets but it's really heavy and it was just the colour that got me um, it's just the most beautiful Barbie pink and I haven't got a Barbie pink cardigan so I got that and then yesterday I was out and about and I went into Dorothy Perkins which is when I got the a little bracelet with love on which is really pretty and I was just looking around the sale stuff it was like oh end of sale bargains and I thought oh well I'll have a little look um, and I came across this and I need to cut that off I forgot to cut this little thread off it now this was in the sale um, this has originally been £25 and this was down to 5 so I was over the moon with that and it's just this now it, yeah it's huge I'm not going to lie um, it was, it's an 18 and it's been all sorts of prices before it eventually went down to 5 um, it's really loose and it just hangs off the shoulder and it looks amazing but what is great about this is it's so sheer so I thought this would look fabulous with the peach coloured shorts with like a white vest underneath as you can see my hand through there it's very very sheer but it's like a turquoise the aqua colour I don't know if you can see but it's got sparkly silver thread running through it you probably can't see which is a shame but it's lovely and it's very lightweight which is really nice during the summer you just want something to kind of you know if it's a little bit of a chill in the air I got a couple of things from ASOS um, most of it's going back just sale things I got something for Kelly I'm doing a swap with Miss Kelsey so I got something for her which I put in her box which is overflown and has moved into two boxes <laughs> so I've got that and I obviously can't show you that um, and I got a bodysuit from ASOS which was £8.50 it's difficult to show you this but basically it's just a vest um, and then at the back it's just got these straps that go across your back um, so it's just kind of effectively it's backless it's just got some straps going across um, I love bodysuits I live in them I think they're great with anything shorts under dresses with trousers with jeans um, so I picked that up because I thought that would look really good because I really love these like strappy back things um, I've got one already that I got from a Selfridge in the sale and I wear it under a chiffon shirt so you can actually see the detail on the back of your bodysuit underneath and I think that's really pretty um, so yeah I got that and that was £8.50 <laughs> And then the last thing, um, this is a Primark bag and it's Rihanna, I love this, it was £3 I think and it's official merchandise um, but it's a material bag, I thought that's great for the summer, it's also great for work to take my dinner in and stuff like that but I got that and then I've got something else inside. Right, I went to this shop in the metro centre and that's the bag. I can't even remember the name of the shop but everything inside was £5, absolutely everything was £5. So I thought oh what attracted me to that shop though was Alec went in first and he found this particular item and we went back and had a look and then I found another item so I got two items from there and he found this which is amazing and it's this sort of loose sort of t-shirt and it's the Rihanna image of a blown smoke out which is gorgeous and it's actually the whole of the front of that t-shirt so that's gonna look absolutely amazing so I got that because I love I love Rihanna but I love Rihanna t-shirts at the minute and then the other item that I got also at the same time because I got really excited when I saw this basically I saw something similar to this well jeans with this print on on misguided but they were really expensive and not in my size <laughs> they didn't have any 16s it literally stopped at 14 which is so wrong um, wasn't happy but then I found these in this shop and these were obviously five pounds um, leggings with crosses on these go all the way to my ankles these were the medium and large um, and I just love them I know they don't look very big but they literally stretch amazingly well <laughs> which is a good thing um, but I love the print gorgeous so that's it I that's I didn't think it was that much till I sat down and started talking about it but it's quite a lot but a lot of it was very sort of bargain sort of thing um yeah so that's it 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I haven't waffled on too much. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, watch out, I've got a review coming up soon on the Mac Fix Plus. Absolutely love this. And I'm going to review that and give you my thoughts on it and how I use it. So that's it for now. See you all soon. Bye.